I'm Davina. I'm Natalie. I'm Trinity. Tell us all about those orangutans. <laughs> well, it's hard to say why we do an orangutan, but it's an experience that you can't replace, and it's just something that I don't know, why did you do your own interview? I don't know, at first it was because my parents were like, you should do an own interview, like everyone in my class, all the senior people, like who we look up to, they do it and you see them and you're like, wow, I want to be like that one day, like since when you're little. And then you just grow up and then if we just did it and you never really understand the value of it until you actually do it. So I was saying to Custer, like, you need to cherish every moment because I regret like not cherishing every moment because the next day you're like, oh, I'm not dancing, I don't have... I, don't have anything to work towards and it's, it's a bit depressing afterwards but it's good. Is so the same with you? Um, yeah, but what I feel like the best thing about our engagement is it's not actually about the day, it's about how long you've been dancing. Like for an hour engagement, it's, even though it's the beginning of the end, if that makes sense, um, you've been preparing for it for a really long time and the journey is just so nice. Like, you go through so many ups and downs that it's just really different to whatever anything else to experience. It makes you appreciate dance even more yeah. and um, makes you want to dance even more. Yeah. And some people stop after the orientation but all of us have continued mm -hmm. afterwards and, and we just, we're working towards different goals and we've all got different things that we're working towards and it's something that just keeps us going in our week and uh, apart from the normal school and work and everything we just, it's, it's a nice thing to have going at the same time. Well, even if you don't think of pursuing it as a professional thing, it's still you know, it's still something we regard that high. Yeah, and I, I don't think the orientation was just like about the dance. I think the whole experience like makes you mature as a person. Because before I was, I don't know, I think I was quite childish. And like now after the orientation, I take dance more seriously. And it, it means much more to me now than it did before. And you appreciate it much more after the orientation. It kind of changes your views on it. Because even my mom said before my orientation, I was quite reluctant to practice. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, not dance again. <laughs> but then after my anger gym, I'm practicing a lot, even my mum telling me to. <laughs> it's kind of like a natural thing that I just do. So, do you all start very early? Yeah. Yeah, I think I started when I was seven, six, seven ish. Yeah. I started about the same Yeah, I think that's the age everyone starts, yeah. And all your parents sort of had like a little community send all their children to, or different teachers, or how well, does it work? Different teachers, yeah. like around London there's so many different teachers, so many different art centres, and it depends where you live and what's yeah. convenient for you. Mm -hmm. and it's basically like our parents would like us to like, continue the tradition, like from back home, they want us to have the culture here, even though we grew up in England, they want us to have the culture, and this is definitely a really good way to like, teach us about our beliefs, our traditions, and religion. So are your parents quite traditional? Um, to an extent, yeah. But they're sort of uh, they're sort of a mix of both, both, both worlds. Yeah. I mean, having lived here for a very long time, it's hard to kind of keep everything. But they there's certain things certain like things. the dance, music that they really yeah keep hold on to. Were any of them performers themselves? Um, mum Not used to dance. <laughs> My mum did, and she came back here to England and she started dancing with Uncle and Auntie. And she stopped. She's like, I want to get back. We could do a performance together. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but it will be. Good. Now, the Arangatram Gatram has got a lot of content in it. Which aspect of it did you like? I think, for me personally, is working with the live musicians. It's just so much different. Like, um, they're just there and they support you. And, like, every time you turn around and look at them, they, it just gives that smile to your face. And it's just, it's just a different experience, like, working with them throughout that whole week. And you, they nearly become like family, like, after that week. They're very close. It's good. For me, it was the makeup and the costume. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because it was like you'd have a whole week of rehearsals where you're really sweaty and you look really disgusting, <laughs> and you'd look at yourself in the mirror and you'd have no makeup on. And then on the day, you're so made up and you just like you just want to smile and enjoy the day. Like I think the makeup was too good. And for me, it would probably be the the process of like preparing for it and just trying to get yourself up to that standard where you think you want to be. And then seeing, seeing the video afterwards and seeing, did I achieve those goals? And I think that's the most interesting aspect for me. But like you said, the live musicians, it's a different experience. And, yeah. and you say you all have different goals now. What yeah. are they? Um, well, I'd like to perform a lot more and start teaching so, and pass on the art to younger students that are coming up now and try and carry on the tradition. 
Have you been to India? I have, yeah. To study? Uh, not to study. I did. I learnt dance there for a few weeks, but it's nothing compared to what some people do. But yeah, it was a good experience. <laughs> and what about your goals? Um, I'd like to do more performances. I'm not too sure about teaching, but <laughs> I'd like to perform more definitely. Performance definitely, but as a goal, I just I just like to do it as a hobby and such. Like it really, it's something you can come to and relax and take your mind away from everything else, and that's what you need. So where would you do your performances? Well, sometimes you get uh, approached by certain uh, academies and stuff like that. So like, and they ask you to come and perform in different places. Like we've got a performance coming up at Trafalgar Square for the Diwali yeah, on the, the Diwali Square. Show. So that's something we're looking forward to and there's going to be a big group of us. And it's, it's, it's a good way to sort of bring all of our class together. And, yeah. and like um, we have fun together. Like we, we do. From we dance class. become like family. Sit, yeah. We only know each Literally, we each other. Right? Each other but <laughs> <laughs> from, from dance you get so many yeah, contacts actually, and friends. And they're just friends for life and family. Yeah. It's, it's a way of bonding. It's really yeah. good.